show that we're bringing you the latest in movies, music and entertainment. Today we are in London at the location of Talking Dogs where we'll be bringing you all the behind scenes so sit back, enjoy and relax. Hey guys, I'm Renato Bianchi. I am the director of photography for Talking Dolls. And yeah, this is the baby we're using. We're using this beautiful Sony FS7 with this amazing CP2 lenses. And yeah, so I'm really, really happy to be part of this team, to work with Suki. He's an amazing director. Everything is going really good. And I can't wait for you guys to watch the film and see because basically Talking Dog is a dark drama. But what I'm trying to do in this film is make something dark look beautiful. And I'm doing that by using soft lights and beautiful compositions. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. And that's it. Hey, what's up? My name is Daniel K. Daniel DKD. Yes, and uh, I'm an African actor. Worldwide. We're here on the set of the movie Talking Dolls, where I play George. Georgie Porgy, my wife likes to call me. Uh, George is, no, I don't like to give away too much, like, you know, storyline and everything, but George is supposed to be a decent, decent accountant, you know, well to do gentleman who loves his family and um, also, you know, likes the taste of other. <clears throat> I'm not just, I'm not gonna put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, my name is Belinda Effa and we are behind the scene for the movie Talking Dolls. This movie is being directed by Sukumi and uh, produced by Music Nest Radio, Mark Adebesi. Um, we have a lot of interesting acts in the house, myself, DK Jean, we have um, Kun Ling, funny something, <laughs> funny side or something like that. Uh, we have my girl in the house, Marie. Hi. <laughs> okay, um, what have I not mentioned? Uh, okay, a couple of um, interesting and fantastic acts that you will love to see in this movie. We are filming here in London and the weather is cold. Uh, yeah, the role is quite challenging because um, um, it has to do with me be playing a victim in London and being taken advantage of by my family people. It's quite um, challenging because I need to get into that character and begin to think like someone that's been abused. So, um, I don't know, it's not a good feeling, but uh, I'll love you guys to look out for this one. I'm sure you'll love it. Um, everybody's on top of their game. I love filming in London. I miss the cold weather, but um, you know, everything adds up to bring out a good picture. So just wait for this one. I'm sure you'll love it. Thank you so much, people. Talking Dolls, a movie. Hey guys, my name is Marie Gomez, and I'm playing the role of Lace in the movie uh, Talking Dolls. And um, do you know what, the experience so far has been amazing. I mean, um, I've been working alongside with Belinda and uh, Daniel K. Daniel, and uh, this is actually my first time working with them, and they have been amazing. And the set, the set energy is literally, I wouldn't say overwhelming, it's just crazy, because everyone's just crazy, everyone's happy, and it's a really, really good set. And um, we have really good food. I mean, I like food. You know, the food is very sweet. I was just telling Mark, God bless you, you know, because good food means a uh, full stomach. Full stomach means good work. Good work means good production. So, God bless all of you now and make sure you come and support us, okay? Love you. Bye. Thank you. Hi, guys. My name is yeah. Tamara. Yeah. Is I'm on set of Talking okay. Dolls. I play the character. Is the lighting good? Yeah. Good. Um, I play the character Ireti, <laughs> George's wife, and um, Ireti is like your. She's like a virtuous woman. So regardless of what happens at home, she tries to keep the home together. You know how husband can sometimes have some funny business outside. That's basically what's going down. 
and yeah, this, she's just really, she's a sweetheart, she tries to keep her home together, and yeah, that's pretty much it, I don't want to give too much away without saying too much, and I just might tell you guys, but I'm getting ready now for the next scene, which is a bit emotional, you know, me and my husband, we're getting into a bit of, you know, a fight, this is the time that it actually voices out, and she punches him in the throat, but yeah, that's all I'm going to say, but just... I'm tired guys, I need to save my voice, okay? Thank you, bye. Hi everyone, um, my name's Natalie Dedman and um, in Talking Dolls I'm playing the lawyer, um, Daniela, who is uh, in this scene coming to George to um, sort of explain to him um, that, that his wife needs protection um, and that they need to reaffirm their marriage in the UK. Hi, my name is Yutunde Oduwale and I'm an actress and I'm on the set of Talking Dolls. I'm playing a character called Auntie Very Mary. Sincere. Auntie Mary is a very loving, kind woman, but she has an agenda. Her agenda is to... She has something she's hiding. She's doing something that's not supposed to be done. And she's basically trying to cover her tracks. Do, you know, yeah, cover her tracks. I don't want to give everything away, but she's trying to cover her tracks while... Production yes. Um, somebody is talking. The DKD is talking. Yeah, my yes. voice is gold. Yes, baby. Chocolate, honey. <laughs> yes, yeah, so my character is a conniving woman. She's deviant. She's a vixen. She she has something up her sleeve and she's playing her cards. She's keeping it close to her heart, you know. But yeah, get, I don't want to give everything away, but yeah, that's that's my character. She's evil, though. She's evil. Okay. With you know, with fur, you know that Corella, Corella, Corella de Vil. Yes, honey. Hi, my name is Shay. I'm the continuity person slash runner. So basically, my job on this role is to make sure each take is agreed by the director for the editor. So it's the preference for the editor to know what shot is being used and my second role is the runner so basically the runner is helping out set up um, equipment for example cameras or like um all the lights so that is my job on talking doors four five slates one take two hi pips it's your boy, Levis Albano. I'm here talking dolls, movie behind scenes. I'm the production assistant. It's been a great journey. It's going to be a great movie. All you guys better watch out because this is the latest news in town. Watch out. Boom. Camera. Scene 41, slate 2. Take 2. Take 2. Take 2. Take 2. This is Grace and Laurie. I'm on the set of Talking Dolls by Sukumi. Um, I'm the chief costumer. I am very excited to be on this production because I've heard a lot about it and I'm excited to see new faces. I'm excited to see makeup. I'm excited to see new people on set. So make sure you have a look and go and see what I think. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll play. I'm, um, I'm taking up the role of um, Ade. Ade is a cool guy, even though everyone thinks he's a bad girl, you know. Um, without giving much away, um, Ade is Linda's cousin. Um, but eventually, some drama happened. Watch the movie to find out what drama it was, uh, or it is. Um, so, I got involved in this project through Suki, Suki, the uh, director. is a lovely guy. We've all worked on two sets together and um, it's been amazing and he called me up and said oh I want someone to play this role and guess what everyone I've spoken about this script with they all say that is Ade that is Ade but yeah I'm Ade I'm playing the role of Ade okay check this out one in sign <laughs> well, hi I'm Bola I'm head makeup artist at Be Divine Beauty and I'm here backstage working on the Talking Dolls. It's such an exciting movie and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Hello, how far? I'm Simon Garrett, but uh, the Talking Dolls crew gave me the name of Shagun on set. 
Uh, I have the role of sound engineer in the movie Talking Dolls. Um, I've been recording the dialogues and sonic ambiences to create the sound of the movie. So I'm using my boom microphone, a stereo mic and clip microphones that I love to hide on the actors and on, in various places like cereal boxes in Kennedy's Kitchen or different stuff. So being involved in this production has been an amazing experience. The team really bounded very fast and we've been working as a big family. I had the feeling, feeling that, that the hierarchy between the different roles uh, quickly evolved into a trust relationship in which everyone was giving his best to fulfill his tasks, but also to help the other departments. So everything would run smoothly and, and efficiently. Uh, well, giving the amount of time given for such an ambitious project has been a real pleasure to see everyone working hand in hand toward this common obje objective. I'm very proud of the level of production we, we achieved during this shoot and I'm looking forward to work on the post-production and to see the final outcome of this project. Uh, more personally, working on this production was a whole new experience. Uh, it's been my first Nollywood production and I discovered a new way of doing things, a new culture and I had the chance to be part of this um, international crew we've built. Um, I'm sure that once finished, the movie will go places and have an international impact. Uh, it's raising important issues embedded in different layers of reflections, and I'm sure everyone watching it will have to learn from the storyline. Um, to finish, I'd like to thank again everyone that I've been working with on this set, and I'm looking forward to be part of another um, project with Blue Water Solutions that did an amazing job at, as a production company and make this realization possible. Enjoy this great movie. Cheers. Camera. Scene for one, slate two, take two. Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Toski. I'm the first city on set for Talking Dolls the film. For those who doesn't know what is the first city is, I make sure the things run according to the schedule. I check all the departments, I check if everything is doing their jobs. I basically I boss people around <laughs> to make sure that we get all the shots we need, all the film we need. And being on Talking Dolls the film for me the movie, it was such an amazing experience. I mean, it was my first film on Nollywood and it's just so different from all the other films that I've done. It's just such a lovely culture and amazing people and great food on set. And I'm pretty sure that this film is going to be great. Just wait for it. Hello everyone, my name is Ibrahim Alesh I'm the art director on the movie Talking Dog. Uh, my responsibility as the art director is to make sure I understand the vision of the director for each set and each location so I can give the production his own visual identity, a unique visual identity. Uh, talking those script was sent to me and when I read it, it get into me that I have to drop everything I'm doing in Scotland and travel down to England for the, for the production. And uh, on the set, we, we have a lot of fantastic uh, creative mind from the cast to the crew. And working with, 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 with the crew with in, in numbers of uh, equipment, like the, the FS7 is, is, is fantastic that we, we use for the, to shoot the film. Is, the image is, is, is great. Talking Doors himself, uh, I don't want to say it's a dark story, it's not, but it's, 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 it's a story that has a uniqueness in it, a story that nobody want to talk about, a story that has its own different angle, and it's actually, it's actually the, the director actually translate the story from the script to a motion picture in a way that a lot of you guys will enjoy it. Um, I can't tell you how beautiful the film, the movie will be, but you need to see the movie. Thank you.
Hi everybody, my name is Mark Adibeshi. I'm the executive producer and producer of Talking Dolls the movie. I just want to say a big thank you to the cast, the crew, uh, for putting together this wonderful movie. Uh, we've shot this now in you know extreme cold weather in the winter, um, especially for the guys who came in from Africa to come and enjoy our British weather. It's been a, a wonderful experience shooting with these guys. Talking Dolls is a film that is quite dark and it's been delivered in a very subtle manner, in a very unique way that it would cut across all ages. Um, we expect um, a whole lot of turnout in the cinemas. We expect it to premiere here in London. Um, we expect a large turnout. We also expect it to be a great film um, and expect a massive impact in the cinemas. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Suki Oduole and I'm the director of Talking Dolls. And here I have with me... Renata Bianchi, I'm the cinematographer. Yeah, cool. Um, talking about Talking Dolls, we... When I, I, wrote this, I wrote the script about a year ago and, um, you know, while, while I kept the script at home, I showed, I showed the producer the script and he was like, oh, this story looks really nice and he really wants to shoot it. I said, oh, for real? Yeah. He said, okay, let's do it. So we we have to put a lot of things into consideration because uh, because of what in my own pers my own perspective about as a as a director I I've seen a lot of movies especially Nigerian movies and I see a lot of things I personally would like to correct in in, in what I what I've seen and um, that is why one of the reasons why I had to shoot talking those so basically um, while we were trying to get in touch with a lot of um, the crew. We have to be very careful who comes on board because we we try to achieve something with this movie. And one of the things I'm trying I'm trying to achieve with the movie is one I wanted to go to a lot of film festivals. I wanted to be nominated in a lot of awards and all that because it's this is a movie that I really want to use as as a launch into my own career as a, as a movie director. So I I'm very very particular about everybody that comes on board. And I was so lucky, I would say I'm so blessed to have a lot of people, a lot of the crew that came on board, we now end up becoming friends, more like friends coming together to, to do a project together. And uh, which takes me to how we got in touch with um, Renata. You know, she, she was recommended by, by someone and um, I was like, okay. So that's how I got in touch with you. The, the, the director of photography, Renata, and um, you know, while I was looking in, into her profile, I saw I saw the movie you, you did, and then I was like, that is my DOP right there. <laughs> that is my DOP right there. You know, like I was thrilled because it looks amazing, and um, and um, to be honest, I, I I didn't regret making that decision. To be honest, she she did a, she did an amazing job in terms of cinematography. I'm so sure a lot of people, a lot of you have seen it. What's it called? The trailer, and I'm so sure you, at least from the reaction we've gotten so far, it's it's been positive and it's amazing. I think I, I need to give you a chance to at least talk about <laughs> your experience as a cinematographer on Talking Dolls. What do you think? What do you think? My experience was amazing. I completely changed after working with this crew and in this film. Uh, my experience of working with Suki for the first time was really really good. Like as a director. He gave me a lot of freedom. He, uh, he made his vision clear from the beginning, from the, the pre-production. We've, we've been working together, and but on set he gave me the freedom to work on my cinematography, to work together, and I felt very comfortable working with him. And it was amazing. Like it was my first experience working with a Hollywood production, which I loved. And I can't wait to come to Nigeria and meet more people and work together and work with the crew as well, with the producer, the first, the first AD and all the guys that helped me in my department was amazing and thank you guys for being patient with me, thank you very much for everything and I really hope that the audience watching this film can get the feeling in what we wanted to, to show you guys and I hope that you enjoy the film and yeah it was a great and amazing experience. And uh, uh, I just hope that we can work together a bit more. So, just how would you wrap up the London experience for the Talking Dolls? 
Ooh, well, uh, I, I always loved London. I always loved coming here. It's a beautiful city. And um, we filmed a beautiful movie. Talking Dolls was... Talking Dolls, first thing that attracted to me, attracted the movie to me is the script. It's a lovely, lovely script. And um, everybody, I came here not knowing what to expect, but all the actors and all the cast, all the crew, it's been one big happy family and uh, it's an experience, not an experience I'll trade for anything. You know, I think we made a beautiful movie, you know, as a family. Um, I've seen some of the rushes and I'm proud to be part of this production. So, I'd say it's a wonderful experience. I'll relive it every, every single time I have a chance to. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah.